It is the 17th of the 1st, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and start on SOT.net. i got another Fukushima story. After Fukushima, fish tales. After the world's worst nuclear accident in 25 years, authorities in Canada said people living here were safe and faced no health risks from the fallout from Fukushima. They said most of the radiation from the crippled Japanese nuclear power plant would fall into the ocean, where it would be diluted and not pose any danger. Dr. Dale Dewar wasn't convinced. Dewar, a family physician in Weiner, in Wineyard, Saskatchewan, doesn't eat a lot of seafood herself, but when her grandchildren come to visit, she carefully checks seafood labels. She wants to make sure it isn't serving them anything that might come from the western Pacific Ocean. Uh, Dewar, an executive director of Phys Physicians for Global Survival, a Canadian anti-nuclear group, <clears throat> says the Canadian government has downplayed the radiation risk from Fukushima and is doing little to monitor them. And the United States is just as or even more guilty. Uh, they are not testing the seafood for radiation. And when uh, the Japanese are admitting that 65% of their catch is over their expanded levels. Uh, just the insanity continues. Mount Edna erupts uh, for the first time this year. Uh, quite an extensive eruption. They do have a video attached with that. Australia, 53 dead fur seals found on the beach. More than 50 New Zealand fur seals have washed up dead on South Australia's uh, Ear Peninsula and will be examined to determine how they died. And they're not really sure, they're still investigating. And that's about all new they have tonight. Over to the extinction protocol. We've got an island to be bombed with poison pellets to kill a plague of rats. Uh, Italy, an uninhabited island, a protected nature reserve lying between the coast of Tuscany and Corsica has been invaded by thousands of black rats. The rodents are believed to have arrived on the four square mile island as stowaways on boats a few, re a few years ago, but now have multiplied. And a Authorities are planning to use aircraft to bombard the island with poison pellets in a bid to tackle the infestation. Uh, they're saying the rats are like one rat per yard um, and the terrain's too rough for them to do it by hand. And they're going to airdrop these uh, rat poison pellets just like the ones you can find in the um, hardware store or whatever. Um, and the, of course the environmentalists are worried about uh, the pellets falling into the water and the fish eating them and the other wildlife and that kind of thing. Uh, but the authorities insist that they've done this on islands before and it's worked and uh, they're just going to go ahead and do it anyway. Eruption continues unabated at Congo's uh, volcano, that big gash volcano. They have a, a video on that where some uh, photographers actually went up and uh, took some pictures of it finally. And that's about all new they have tonight. Um, I'm going to take you over to the El Hero volcano site. Uh, they have an update today. A magnitude 0.9 earthquake occurred at 1819 at a depth of 11 kilometers. Uh, they have a video recording this morning uh, by the cooperation of the civil helicopters. Uh, the exact time has not been given. Da -da -da. But we expect that the faint action is caused by the partial collapse of the vent at 1140. The stain, however, is quite impressive. And they have a... Uh, an, a an extended video of the jacuzzi they're calling it which is basically the vent and then you can definitely see the, the stain in the water and how it goes off in the horizon some pretty crazy stuff and they also show the the, the tremor graphs where it's, it, it went light and then it's building back up again kind of thing for another eruption so um, El Euro is ongoing and continuing <clears throat> and we are definitely keeping an eye on that over to the RSOE uh, uh, cold waves in India. Explosion in Nigeria. We have another oil rig on fire. It's a Chevron rig. Um, it's a natural gas um, drill. They're saying this is another one of those uh, test 
boreholes that they're doing that got out of control. Uh, they're not really saying. They're saying they, they, they see a sheen on the water, but the thing's on fire, and they, they've had to, to shut down um, um, other wells nearby just as a safety precaution. So uh, basically not a lot of information on this. And this is the second big uh, oil disaster that's happened in this oil field in less than a month. And, uh, of course, the locals are up in arms about the pollution and all that. Uh, snowstorms in Afghanistan, pretty extreme. And you got it, you know, there's still a lot of refugees and people uh, living basically out in the open with nothing. And, uh, of course... They've got the Phobos Grunt story, uh, it came down officially, and I'm sure those pieces I saw on track were just parts of it skipping across the, the top of the, the atmosphere kind of thing, kind of like a stone over a lake if you toss it, uh, but a little more crazy. And that's about all climate change tonight. Over to the radiation stuff, e, &E News. Um, report high levels of cesium detected in Osaka Bay soil, 600 kilometers from the meltdown. Um, NHK, Japanese government gave speedy radiation forecast to the U.S. military, not its own citizens. And you got to remember when uh, this happened, uh, the, the military pulled everybody out of Tokyo. They basically pulled all their, their civilians out of, off the bases and back home, and they moved the fleet and the whole bit because they knew exactly uh, how big this situation was, and they weren't telling the public of that. Uh, but our military definitely bugged out uh, during this disaster. Uh, what they're doing now is still a mystery. Uh, quote, you are a champion of radiation. Doctors tell men in evacuation zone. Tomokai, contamination is superior to Chernobyl, admits government agency. And uh, this is another story basically about the same guy. Photographer back from Fukushima Forbidden Zone. Enormous spiders seem to take advantage of the radioactivity and, e <clears throat> and evacuation to spread rapidly, report says. Now I'm going to attach a link to this particular report. It uh, has some very graphic, graphic photos. I'm going to warn you right now. Um, in the exclusion zones as far as... Um, you know, some animal deaths and the cows and, and um, some dogs that were caught in boar traps, uh, that kind of thing. So I'm going to warn you, it's pretty graphic. Um, but definitely um, <clears throat> an eye-opener about what's going on in the evacuation zone down there. Uh, temperatures will be above 100 degrees Celsius persisting at reactor number 2 gauge. TEPCO claims it's a malfunction but has been stable previously. Uh, over EPA limit... Listen up. Cesium levels in San Francisco area milk now higher than six months ago. Cover up question mark. Government warned of radioactive concrete problem last month. Claimed it had investigated. Admits more evacuees may be living in contaminated houses. Uh, Mom escapes radiation by moving into radioactive apartment. I have no words. I feel so awful for my kids. I feel like I failed as a parent, ABC News reports. And uh, many Fukushima evacuees living in infamous apartment building built from radioactive materials. And uh, this is where it actually a child playing with a Geiger counter uh, discovered that the radioactivity was higher inside than it was outside. And uh, they're using contaminated concrete to build these structures. And uh, the insanity just continues and continues and continues. Ah, Fukushima reactor designer. Meltdowns would have likely occurred without the tsunami. A serious investigation on the horizon, question mark? Yeah, good luck with that. And, uh, of course, we're not going to find out the whole truth until many decades from now, maybe a few generations. We're going to be dealing with this for many, many generations because uh, plutonium just doesn't go away overnight. That's about all I have for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please uh, attach your comments or your uh, videos below. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks for all your support.